<laughs> Welcome to the Edamami Anime Club, where we contracted our livers to the beer devil to make this episode. Well, that's fine with me. My liver's not worth anything, so. All right. Well, let's get into the very first episode. But first, let's crack open our cold ones. All right. And I'm drinking Voodoo Ranger Juice Force IPA. Sponsor I'm... us. Uh, do they sponsor us? <laughs> no, I'm telling, I'm telling the sponsor. Oh, the, okay. Sponsor okay. Uh, I'm going with the Voodoo Ranger Fruit Force. I haven't had this one before, so let's see what it's, what it's about. Cheers, mate. Kampai. Cheers. Kampai. Kampai. Some, something like that. Oof. I actually like mine. It tastes like fruit punch. It mine does. tastes like hazy IPA. Mine just literally just tastes like an IPA. Mine, mine hides the uh, fact that it's 9.5% uh, ABV. So mine, mine's pretty good. Here, let me try yours. Let me try mine. And while we're changing, while we're exchanging saliva right now, we can go ahead and introduce ourselves. My name is Steve, and I am a co host of this episode. Well, Mo is a co host. I'm part of the episode. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm Alexander. I'll be your main host for this host. episode. <laughs> I don't like yours. You don't like mine? Yeah, have mine back. <laughs> have mine back. I don't like yours. All right, now that we, and a little bit of formatting for this, uh, for the the going moving forward with our uh, episodes, definitely going to be a uh, we're doing one season animes. So right now we are doing just one season animes. If it's a good season, maybe we'll do a second part to season two, um, depending on the episode. And we might watch you know whole shows in its entirety and talk about it. I just feel like it's a long episode. We're still debating on that, but it's always going to be one episode or one season. Uh, yeah, if we, if we decide to watch season number two, it'll be sometime in the future. It's not going to be right after. So. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, what episode are we working on today? We're gonna be doing Chainsaw Man. Say that again. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be reviewing Chainsaw Man today. So we will be reviewing Chainsaw Man. I'm very excited for this episode. So let's get real quick into a synopsis for it. I have a synopsis right here, and this is generated by ChatGPT. Uh, they did this synopsis, so it's a little weird, like reading it, because it doesn't sound exactly. So I went ahead and cleaned it up just a little bit, uh, just to like cover uh, some of the things they said on it. But I definitely, they did a pretty good job. I'm going to read just the very first uh, paragraph they had because there is some spoilers here. So the synopsis for Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is a manga series written and illustrated by Tatsuka Fujimoto. The story is set in a world where demons or devils exist and can be hunted by people known as devil hunters. The main character of the story is a young man named Denji who lived a miserable life and is burdened with his deceased father's debt. One day, Denji meets a cute devil dog named Pochito and forms a close bond with him. When Denji is betrayed and killed, Pochito fuses with Denji's remains, bringing him back to life as a powerful chainsaw demon hybrid. Denji becomes a devil hunter in order to pay off his... Well, he becomes a devil hunter, and that's where we'll start right there. I don't want to read the rest of it, because it gets kind of spoilery. See, see, again, you can tell that ChatGPT is not doing a good job, because it's not <laughs> Pochito, it's Pochita. Oh, I made I read it wrong. That's not them doing a shitty job. That's just me being a shitty reader. <laughs> but okay. thanks for clarifying that. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a lot of Pochita fans out there. So oh, I'm, I, I just like offended like majority yeah, of our fans. Yeah. Well, that's good. I like I like the character, and um, we have a friend that says what she called a little dog. Yeah, yeah she called a little dog devil. She wants to, like watch a show because little dog devil. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing she was interested in. Yeah, didn't care about anything else. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get some of these reviews, and then we'll throw in our review. Um, this first few minutes will be non-spoiler alerts. I'll give a heads up when we start getting into the spoiler part of it. Yeah, so we're going to read some reviews, uh, review we found online. Uh, we're going to start off with a bad review. Um, this one's written by Ral, Ral Capo, and he titles it, Has Everything That Makes an Anime Bad. This anime simply lacks everything that makes stories enjoyable and interesting. It's absurd to see this anime rated high. I hope there are botted and not real user ratings. Note, the first episode is an attention-grabbing one, and the rest of the episodes have nothing to do at all with the first one. The characters are completely stupid, cliche, like a horny 14-year-old kid has written it. If you don't believe me, then simply waste some of your time by watching it. The first three episodes, just so you can see this disappointment. What is going on in the anime world? The intelligence in anime is continuously dropping. This dude hated it. That's a uh, that's a pretty scathing review. I, I, I don't. What is he talking about? <laughs> we'll get into the characters later, but what the characters are are very unique. To me, the characters is what makes the anime, especially especially the adaptation that Chainsaw did. Like, you know, it's it's what drives every single episode to me. Oh uh, yeah, you I know, mean, really, the, like they because they could probably do a spinoff anime without even including Chainsaw Man. 
that's how good these other side characters are. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. Definitely. For sure. Okay, so <laughs> he obviously didn't like it. Okay, what else do we have? We have an, another review on the better review. Yeah, <laughs> so all right. <laughs> that was that was a one out of ten review. So. One out of ten. Got it. So we're gonna read a ten out of ten review. So here's the opposite side. Uh, this one's written by K N C B S K M. I can't I can't pronounce that. So um, couldn't peel my eyes away. Anyone giving this less than eight to nine stars is unhinged. It's perfection. The anime is top notch. The story is top notch. The voice acting is top notch. I don't think that they could have done anything better. There isn't anything novel left in the world, so of course it's going to be a bit derivative. But this show has taken all the aspects I like of all other animes and combined them beautifully. I am looking forward to future episodes. I really enjoyed Overlord and Berserk. They were my favorite shows up until this point. I am almost certain that this show will become my new favorite. I will update this review if this changes. And I mean, he, Berserk's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I'm from, a fan. From, from whatever, I haven't watched, I've only watched the first episode, but I, yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Berserk's good. I'm yeah. also a fan of Overlord. Uh, okay. That's, that's a good one. I, I liked it. I mean, his reviews, it's it's kind of funny because he, he says like nothing else could change, but he didn't give it a 10 out of 10. He gave it an 8. He's like, there's nothing else you could have done to make this episode be- or this anime better. But I, I do think that, uh, you know, that's a good take. It does take a lot of the aspects we love of anime, and kind of blends it in really well with the, uh, with like, because it has a lot like the action. Like, you, you, there's so many different people that can watch this for every perspective, from like shonen, romance, slice of life, things like that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of mystery to it too. It's, there's, there's a bunch of unknowns and a bunch of questions that go unanswered until much later as you go through the anime. So, uh, I, I like that take. Um, yeah. You know, he yeah. he obviously loved it. So. Yeah, and I, I do think, like, the first guy that watched it, I just feel like he's one of those anime snobs. Yeah. That just, like, looks for everything wrong in anime. He just wants to, uh, like, you know, pee on other people's parades, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, is there any other review you want to go through, or that's it? Um, I don't know. I only had those two lined oh, up. Oh, perfect. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a good one and a bad one. I, I, like I guess I could have done, like, a middle review. Maybe maybe we'll do that in the future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever. I mean, like, whatever reviews. But both of those were good takes yeah. on, on, on all of it. And uh, I, now we can kind of go into our own review, and then we'll start getting to the spoiler stuff. But uh, I, I... So we rate our animes... Our anime... Plural. Our anime... Uh, out of five edamamis because this is the edamami anime club that's right yeah so we rate it out of five i i'm gonna give this one a four i does i i think if i it was if i finished it in its entirety it might be like closer to a five I, you it'll be rare to, for me to ever give out a five i'm just not gonna give out fives willy-nilly so for it to be like a 4.8 edamami for me 4.75 let's go by quarters uh 4.75 it would really have to do with uh I, the, I, and no spoilers here, but the finale didn't encap. It wasn't the greatest finale for me. That's why I gave it a four. So for me, I'm a, I would have normally given it a four point five at Amami's out of five, um, but the anime inspired me to read the manga. So after reading the manga, um, I'm, I'm caught up now. Um, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five at Amami's. Um, there's there's some things that are left out in the anime. It's also got a slightly different direction. Than from what uh, Fujimoto, um, you know, uh, wasn't was trying to go for in his in his manga. It's a, it's a lot more faster paced in the manga. Like a like a lot of the action, the scenes, like the the plot twists are are really like kind of kind of coming at you quick. The anime goes for like a real like kind of surreal, almost kind of slow. Um, I don't know, like uh, realism, I guess. Like like just like some of the takes, how how he's trying to treat like Denji or power. Um, you know their interactions uh, the manga is much more quick whereas in the anime it's it's very drawn out so that's uh one of, one of the things i noticed after after watching the anime and then reading the manga so you watched the anime then read the manga yes the anime inspired me to read the manga like i okay. thought the anime was that good um then i read the manga and then i could see some of the criticisms that people have online of of the adaptation although like i said originally 4.5 gonna bring it back down to a four after reading the manga all right, yeah, nice. And like, uh, I do think that like you really pushed me on this one. Like, you're the one that like, because we, we watch anime all the time together. Mm-hmm. And you pushed yes. me out to watch this one, and I, I just thought like coming from like not knowing anything about Chainsaw Man, it's somewhat obscured. It's a little, it's ambiguous to find out about you know what it's literally a chainsaw head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's super. Com- it was it was something I was not prepared for to really like, um, and then I watched it. And I did enjoy it. So I do tell everyone. 
definitely check it out. Um, you, I mean, you agree, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely check it out. I would recommend it to yeah. people. Yes. Yeah, I always recommend. I mean, this is a good recommendation for everyone to watch. Definitely not someone that's starting with anime to watch first. Yeah, it might be a bit uh, jarring for someone like as their first anime. Yeah. You know? So, but you should definitely check this anime out if you're not now. If you have not watched it yet. We are about to get into the spoiler section, so pause this video, go watch it. It's 12 episodes, right? Yeah, it's 12 episodes. Go watch it. It'll take you about four and a half hours. Come back, finish the episode, and let us know what you think. Uh, so we're going to get into the spoiler section of it all. All, all right. right. Well, let's really just ju jump right into. So the very first episode, and I'm going to start with the first episode, the the whole reason he hunts devils is to pay off his father's debt. Like, what did you think about that scene where... Um, like the uh, the like the guy that like I guess he whoever he owes money to, loan shark comes mm -hmm. to his funeral is like I don't give a shit you're gonna have to pay, even though your dad's dead you're gonna have to pay and he's just like crying. Remember that scene? Yeah, I yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. That scene to me was like, damn, bro, he had nobody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it just turns out that you know like he still has to pay off the debt. Yeah, it really sets up uh, Denji as like having nothing. So. Oh. Uh, I think that's what that's what they're going for. Like he he still has to his father's debt. He's already poor and whatnot. So yeah, he's poor. He has to pay off his debt. He's already sold his. You know you know, you remember the very yeah, I did. He sold his testicle. Did, he did say he that, sold he? his testicle. Yeah, yeah. And like he mentions that he sold his testicle, and then they make him eat the cigarette. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it really like that's what I thought the whole anime was about. But as you get closer and closer to the finale, like really. He, it is that now he's his only goal like now after that because he ends up uh you know the guy that he owes money to ends up becoming a zombie mm -hmm. and he doesn't owe him any money now technically yeah. that comes back full circle to the finale with katana man mm -hmm. but uh really like now it's a whole other journey so like that's kind of a weird take like this is what it was going to be about and it just totally did the opposite it's no longer he's still going to be a devil hunter but now he works uh he, like a, he doesn't work for someone he works for an organization yeah, yeah. So I, I did think that was good. Yeah. Uh, as far as the first episode goes, I I really liked uh, the scene right after you know he's done fighting all the zombies and he's sitting there as Chainsaw Man's form and uh, Makima and is it um oh yeah yeah Makima shows up and and goes and hugs him like yeah. I thought that was like like a real a real big plot twist like like I was excited for the next episode like because you didn't know what this character rep character represented in respects to Dingy. And you didn't know like who she was, so I thought that was a, a good cliffhanger. For Be because she one. was there to kill. Yeah, zombies. she was. She was there to yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the zombie devil. She was there to kill him, yeah. and then she comes in. There's a devil there, and she doesn't kill him immediately. And I think she was like, I don't know if it says in the first episode or the second, but they talk about like how um, she was like, "You can work for us, or I can kill you." Like that mm -hmm. was like the only option. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> well, I mean, we can get really deep into it, but uh, before we get too deep into the other episodes, I did want to talk about. What did you think about the intro? The intro, like intro, is top notch, like five out of five. I, I the, loved it. The music, do you like the, 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 the music? Was good, like because when yeah. it like hits that like that peak, like like the drop, and he's like running on the side of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the the, the intro is very good. It also has a bunch of um, little Easter eggs in there, uh, referencing a bunch of other pop culture uh, oh aspects. Oh my god! There, dude. There's also a lot of like. Um, Hints, hints in the first episode or, or the first intro that actually allude to stuff that hasn't even been that doesn't even air in um, the first season. It's it's alluding to further into the manga, and like oh, you okay. you you won't even pick that up until you read the manga and you start to watch it. It's it's not a whole lot, you know, maybe five seconds. But like if you really think about it, you know, I can I can point that out to you. But I want to do more spoilers for people who have who've only finished season one. Like I'm not trying to like yeah, yeah. go go farther Appreciate than that. that. Yeah, that, that's, I'm but, one of them. But but yeah. yeah, it's it's like that's how good of an intro it is. Like it's 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 catered to the fans. Oh you know? yeah, it had so many pop culture from yeah. uh, the the Big Lebowski. It had Pulp Fiction. It had a bunch of other ones. I don't want to get in all of them, but it had a bunch of good ones. Reservoir Dogs, all of them. It was good. And then like just like showing these characters because the first episode we didn't know. We only knew one character really. Um, it was dingy. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't know Aki and we didn't know power, you mm -hmm. know, so, and then we didn't know Jimena or none of those other characters. So yeah. it was really good. It also introduced the, the future devil. He's in there dancing. Yeah. yeah so yeah, that was right. kind of cool as well. So that, that was really cool. What did you think about the animation? Animation. Um, so it's CGI, right? 
Some of it's some CGI. of it's CGI. Yeah, yeah. you could tell some yeah. of it's CGI. It's actually uh, really good for CGI. Yeah, I mean, it was like really it was like the landscapes only, right? Landscapes for CGI. They, I want to say yes. Um, I know, like for example, during the Bat Devil fight, like he's actually hand drawn, but yeah, like the background and the landscapes, I guess, are, are CGI. Well, Chainsaw Man himself is CGI, obviously. Um, yeah. You know when he transforms, but other than that, the monsters and, and stuff were hand drawn. Um, I actually saw a few um, videos of, of them drawing the Bat Devil fight and how they were doing the um, uh, like keynotes, I suppose, like yeah. the, the key frames of like him throwing the car and stuff like that was one of the things that they were planning is like one of the big scenes yeah so so they hand drew the bad devil but yeah the the very well done for cgi i think yeah i know i mean i, I honestly I, I feel like we need to start embracing it i'm not gonna lie and i'm the spoiler dragon ball superhero super superhero had some of the worst cgi's i've ever seen <laughs> but I, I haven't seen it so yeah, i can't yeah. comment but so if it's not that bad like we should embrace the CGI sometimes. Like Trigon Stamp Tri- Trigon Stampede is yeah. CGI mostly. Like it, it looks good. Yeah. I haven't I haven't watched it. I mean, um, we've been talking about watching yeah, it. That yeah. might be for a future episode. But it, anyways, you're right. Like it, the animation wasn't bad. I am not the biggest fan of the CGI, but I'm I'm getting kind of, you know, accustomed to it. Yeah. And I think it's like I can get over it if it means we're pumping out episodes faster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I do think that's good. Also, so, it takes less um you know, the more time for animators themselves to draw the characters and, and the more intricate scenes and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Like, why have them draw, you know, the oh, cha- yeah. chainsaws frame by frame as they spin every yeah. single time, Chainsaw Man, you know, yeah. Yeah, so, no, you're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. And uh, so, uh, I, okay. So now that we got the, the beginning, I, I should have done that before, but now we get back to the episodes. So episode one and two really sets it up. And then, so this idea of a hero's journey for Denji, it really is interesting because like, we get to see what he really like what he's after like he's <laughs> like what is he pursuing like 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 if we go and i know you haven't seen it but like my hero he wants to be the greatest like hero in there mm-hmm. you know and, and like demon slayer he uh he wants to like kill the big demons like mm-hmm. all like all of them have like noble pursuits this is one of the few animes it's not necessarily a noble pursuit it's kind of a comedy it's it's not noble at all it's uh you know, i think that's why that guy was saying it's uh in our in the one out of ten review about how it's just the lowest derivative of anime yeah it's like a 14 or 12 year old yeah, yeah 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 and it, it's because really all he, want, he wants is just to feel feel boob it's for the first half yeah. and then he wants to go all the way yeah <laughs> later and, on and it's uh it's hilarious because it encapsulates that when he fights the leech demon like he's like my dream versus yours who, who's is better and yeah and he fights him and kills the leech double and his his dream is yeah. yeah well let's get into that like really so it starts off with um he's going he doesn't give a shit about oh, we got to get in the characters first right should we get in the characters first and talk about this because i got to uh, introduce power because yeah uh, we could just talk about the characters okay. separately like who yeah. our favorite characters yeah, are, yeah. So. okay 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 yeah. so he 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 talks to power and he doesn't give a fuck about power at all mm-hmm. and then power is like i lost my cat goes into details about that and he's talking about how he wants to just fill boobs mm-hmm. that's all he wants is to fill boobs yeah and that drives him to fight the bat devil like that's what, yeah, that's yeah. the that's the catalyst that brings him yeah, to that fight. and I, I was telling you about the scene as power goes um i'll let you fill mine if you help me and then he's all he took your cat like he gets so noble yeah, yeah. and he pursues it so uh and then we that's a good yeah so we go into the the fight scene with that he fights the bad demon uh to get the cat back and then he goes in and fights the leech leech demon right mm-hmm. after that and he's just talking about what like why he's doing it mm-hmm. and then we get some of the coolest coolest fight scenes there we introduced kind of like Aki's contract. Yeah, yeah that was great about that that fight because they introduced like Aki was already part of the the cast. You know, we know who Aki is, and then we see him just like annihilate the leech devil with yeah. Cone. Yeah, like that was that, that was, was such a because also that might have been the very introduction of like contracts. Like mm. I don't think they talked about contracts prior to that. Because mm. I don't remember them talking about it, but I think that's when they like talk about the contracts. Like he has a contract with like the wolf or the. The I don't know. It might be a fox. Yeah, like, the yeah, fox devil. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of the beginning in that these devil hunters have like um, contracts with them, which is why, which is really funny because like uh, that's the whole plot is about like uh, you know they're actually killing demons or devils, but they have contracts with devils. So it's kind of funny that they have that, and they have them imprisoned. So it's kind of like yeah. it's just like they're killing them. The ones that are like, I guess, allowing them to have contracts, they let them live. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure it's gonna get deeper when we get more more in depth with the anime. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh no, it, it definitely is. Yeah. So definitely, his it's not a noble pursuit from Deji, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's it's a fight on a motivation for me. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm okay. I I yeah. like that. I like that it it didn't have deeper meanings. It was yeah. really just that. Yeah. And, and then we get that fight scene. So I mean, that bad devil scene was really cool. Um, leech devil scene was really cool. And then we get into my favorite. This is my favorite devil. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. The the uh, the eternity devil infinity. Etern- uh, infinity. It might be infinity. It yeah, be infinity. I've heard it's both. Like I've seen both online. Yeah. But what, the infinity devil, I believe, is what it's called. One of my favorite devils ever, just because it was so. Um, just the fight scene with that, like he, like literally, he's just like you. Either give up Denjizos right now, and we'll let you live, or yeah. you don't, and you stay here forever. Yeah. And Denji just jumps in there, and then the Infinity Devil is like, "Screw it! Here's my heart. Just kill me!" Because they're fighting for like so many, like so many days. I think uh, the the Eternity Devil or Infinity Devil. I want to say Eternity. I'm going to say Eternity. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I mean, I have it here. Let's. We want to get clear, clarify. It. <laughs> okay, ahead, let, look ahead. it up real quick. Yeah. Um, so watching, uh, uh, I rewatched some of the some of the anime. Uh, we watched it uh, dub, by the way. Uh, so the the dub is actually really good. We um, watched it subbed. We watched it while I was you're right, you're right. We originally watched yeah. it dubbed. I've watched the it. Su- I... The sub was really good. That's yeah, the sub was good. Yeah. I was getting confused there. Yeah. Um, what I really liked about uh, that episode with the Eternity Devil is um, it translated very, very well from the manga. Like, you're right, it's it is almost, the Eternity Devil. It's yeah. almost like frame for frame, like like panel for panel, like shot for shot. Like like it's as if they read the manga and then you can see the pictures from the anime like transposing. Oh, okay. It's very it's very good. It's like very close. Um it's also what I really liked about that uh, episode is it kind of gives the mystery about like why do they want Dingy? Like why is this devil asking, you know, the devil hunters to kill Dingy and then he'll let them live? Like it sets up that kind of mystery. Oh yeah, and I'm I'm yeah. like yeah, I'm sure you've already know what it is, but yeah. I still am unaware of what the mystery yeah. is. They do want Dingy's heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do want his heart. So yeah. so it's a it, it was a it was a really great episode. That's probably I think one of the best episodes in Chainsaw Man in respect to the the manga. Okay. So I mean I thought it was uh I thought it was a really good episode just because uh like <laughs> the scene really set up where um they're going there to look for the gun devil. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the gun devil is is the big bad, right? Yeah. And he's uh one of the thing is I don't know if explained in the manga, but like about how many people we actually slaughtered. Like you're talking about like w- w- worldwide, you know, uh, it, like he like annihilated a huge population. Yeah. And um in the anime they made it seem more like um like the numbers were lower, like like and happening cuz they were showing it, it was like on a TV, right, that they're watching and it was like news playing or how how do they do it? Or no, Makima just explained it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makima yeah. explained yeah. yeah, and just telling them how many people they killed. But in, like, the, the manga, it was, like, basically instantaneous. The the gun devil killed, like, 500,000 people in Japan. And then next he was in, like, Sao Paulo or Brazil, like, killed 300,000 people. And then he was in New York. Oh, yeah, like, that's right, that's like, right. Like, it, was, it was very quick. It made it seem, like, instantaneously. Whereas in the anime, it was kind of ambiguous. Yeah. Like, like, it just made it seem like he killed a bunch of people. At the like, same, right at, like, immediately, all of them yeah. at once. Yeah. But in the... In the uh, so was it separate different spots, or it was just different spots? Of the, like it was just giving you numbers for each location. And in the manga, it was like numbers for each location, but like in that it was like instantaneous. From like the anime, it seemed more like he killed this many people here and then this. Oh, like, okay. And they just know. gave like a, a, like a tally. Of yeah, yeah. Okay. But in yeah. the manga, they made it very clear that it all happened like in the span of like minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and I, we did talk about that because you were telling me about that when we were watching it. But the uh, that whole setup. So he's going there because he wants to get a kiss. Uh, like, he's trying to get a kiss from... Jimeno makes a deal. You know, if you kiss me, like, if we go in the anime... Like, if you go in the... Like, whoever, like, kills the devil in there, like, gets oh, a yeah, kiss yeah. from me. The, the and devil, then, yeah. like, uh, you know, that's... Like, Denji's all, like, marching in there with his yeah, tongue that was, out. That was a hilarious yeah, scene. Yeah, that was so funny. Yeah. And then he has the other funny scene where he's like, we don't have food. He's like, oh, I know what we can do. A little life hack. And he goes to bed, <laughs> takes a nap. That's one of my favorite yeah. scenes because I, I relate so hard. Yeah. Like when you have no money, you need to so eat sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eat sleep, yeah. Yeah, eat yeah. sleep. It's like 3 p.m. You're like, I'll just go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was a great episode. Just like uh, Kobeni's introduced. Like you can oh, see yeah. more, yeah, more cool. about her. Yeah, like Kobini is one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I actually really yeah, like yeah. Kobini. Yeah, we'll get into that a little, in a little bit later. So it goes, it marches through that episode. And then at the end of it, I do believe they do get some flesh 
from the gun devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After and, they after they kill the attorney devil, they get a little fragment. Yeah. yeah, they get a fragment, and the more fragments, it leads to the gun devil. Mm-hmm. So I do think that's really cool, and it sets up kind of what's going on with like why Aki is pursuing the gun devil. By the way, he's not the only one doing that. I, it makes it seem like um like you would imagine the United States is also doing it because you see that scene where um I don't know if they're communicating with the United States or not. But um, they're like directing Makima, like you need to like, yeah, yeah, like 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 handle this, I guess. It's a, it's super cool because yeah. in, in Japan, like the gun laws are a lot different here than here in America, mm-hmm. and it makes that like, kind of like a not like a joke or a quip or anything like that, but it makes it like apparent like guns are a problem in America, but not in Japan. Mm-hmm. That's why people in Japan fear the gun devil more mm-hmm. because it's such a scary thing. And I think it's like at a perfect time right now with like all the gun violence and stuff. So it did have like a play on that. And like the more you fear devil, the stronger it gets. Mm-hmm. So I do think that was really cool that they did that. that but that that whole little like it's small arc uh, of the uh, eternity devil was really good. And then after that, we get into a little bit of um, we get into that really good episode. Like, because this episode that I'm about to mention like kept me so engaged, I couldn't stop watching after this. I knew uh, this episode got me so engaged. It was whenever they. Um, they all die. Oh, where like the plot twist after you've been introduced to like Kimeno. Um, I don't even know what the other guy's name is. Uh, uh, Kurt, Kurt, the one that get the one that gets spoiler. Well, this is a spoiler section. Yeah. Gets shot. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gets shot. Everybody. Yeah. There's only a few that don't get shot. Mm-hmm. We also so in that scene. And I thought Makima died. Ma- 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 oh yeah, they start off by killing Makima. That's the that's the cliffhanger on the episode. Yeah, because she was the yeah. one. They yeah. she was the one they had to kill first. Yeah, they had to kill her first because she was the one that was the most dangerous. Mm-hmm. So they shoot her. They uh, they uh, shoot Kobeni's partner, who I don't even remember. Yeah, You're right. They don't they don't kill him. Mino. That, yeah. that happens later. But yeah, they kill. Yeah. She. They actually don't kill him. Mino. Um What happens is um, Himeno dies fighting. Yeah, him and her dies fighting. She yeah. dies, I think, fighting yeah, yeah. the Katana Man. Yeah, it's actually... She, she does die for the Katana Man, because later on that comes it, back. Is it Katana, the, the Katana Devil, or is it the Snake Devil that kills her? I can't remember. One of them kills... Yeah. yeah. I know they're, they're both kind of... in it, like They they do like damage her. Um, they're both fighting her and Chainsaw Man at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, Katana, like they, they're blaming Katana Man, and that'll be at the season finale when I talk about that. But yeah, they get into that like fight scene, and that was like... Really, it just showed like how powerful these devils were, and then yeah. we get to inter- we get to see that fight scene. And um, at this point, we don't really know much about Kobeni. Mm-hmm. We just think she's scared, she's mm-hmm. timid. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get to see that epic scene where she basically just like saved Chainsaw Man. Yeah. She saved Denji, like completely, just annihilated Katana Man. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. like not even a, a fight. Like yeah. he just she just showed up and just ended it. So, did you know the scene like prior to? So, the scene that I, the the Machina scene, did you know that was happening before you watched the episode? No. Okay, so no. that that episode where Machina like he's like, I need like thirty prisoners. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you know that beforehand? No, no. Like I said, I finished the anime, and it was so like, oh, I enjoyed okay. it so much that I then went to read the manga, and I started from chapter zero. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I was. I wasn't sure that you started like maybe episode one no, or episode no, the manga because no, no. we had we watched it as, as it was airing. Yeah, we watched it as yeah, it was airing. Episode, episode after episode. Yeah, every yeah. single episode at right yeah. when it was airing, we'd have to come and come and watch it like during work and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah. So Machina comes in there, invites thirty prisoners that are gonna like license, let them eat all the snacks they want. They're like eating Cheetos and chips, and mm-hmm. they don't know what's going on. And then uses their bodies to like basically sacrifice. To kill off all like the like the like the gang members they have yeah. that are doing this whole like shootout. So so then it, like what was crazy to me about that scene is like okay what contract does she have because like you already said it's exactly. been revealed like Aki has you know his yes. contract with with Cone and all that but like what is she using to like like that's what makes Chainsaw Man so epic is like it was like trying to figure out what they're using because that's gonna be a recurring theme like they're gonna be using powers but they're all like like fears that people have yeah you know no you're, you're right and and, and Ma, 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 am i saying right makima 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 thank, thank yeah. you makima is like really she to me is the most uh mystery of it all yeah because like there's sure. a lot like going in so the scene that she gets shot in the face and then she slaughters them all mm-hmm. inside the, the in the in the train and then she pulls up and kyoto has a team there 
from Kyoto, you know, mm-hmm. Japan. Like, Kyoto has a team there. She's like, what happened? Don't worry, it's not my blood. She doesn't even mention she got shot. Yeah. So I'm curious, like, what, who does she have a contract with? And what did she give up for that contract? Mm-hmm. Like, she literally, like, dies. Mm-hmm. And she comes back. So that scene really introduced a lot of things that show that they are, like, unprepared for a lot. And then um, it leads to, some, like, leads to a really n- another cool character. Uh, Kishi Beat? Oh, sorry, sorry guys Charles, <laughs> our mascot Charles is yes. yeah get out of here Charles we're doing a, a, a Charles right here yeah, this is Charles we're doing something we're, we got work to do <laughs> he's gonna be back up here in a few minutes that's fine <laughs> such a cute little little angel from heaven <laughs> uh, but they introduced like the like how they're training mm-hmm. which I just it's like who is it Kish, Kishibi Captain, I want to say Kishbe, Kishbe. Captain K- Kishbe. I mean, I can look it up real quick. Well, I mean, it's a spelling. I, I, I know it's spelled like that, but I know we're. Uh, it's Kishibe. Kishibe. But, but I always thought it was like Kishbe, Kishbe. Yeah. Uh, so they introduce him, and the way he trains is oh, just yeah. so cutthroat. Mm-hmm. He's just like killing them. Yeah. Kills them over and over and revives them. Yeah, yeah. but it kills them and gives them like a vial of blood. Mm-hmm. Like, he literally, that's all he's doing. And he drinks like all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that to me again, and it leads to this very funny scene, is where they're get, they just got their ass kicked. They died like seventeen times each, and they're walking back to their house. And then um, Powers like we we can't beat them. And then they just like we can beat them. We're smart. We should use intelligence. And then the next scenes are wearing glasses. Yeah, <laughs> they're all wearing glasses. <laughs> they're wearing glasses. Like, sh- That's how strate- they- strategically trying to like, plan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good. It was a good plan. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but it you know again power end up using all their powers. Uh, he's okay. Well, he's right hitting now, the but... control button or something. No, nah. uh, look, look, he's changing your laptop. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> he's hitting like shift and control, and he's and he's typing weird things in the web browser. <laughs> <laughs> he does not want to go down. Yeah, so that and I like that character. I mean, I like. I'm curious. I and see, I don't know. Again, I don't know this. And I'm sure you don't yet know yet, but I think he has a, a deal with the future devil. I think he does. Kind of with Aki, because the, the future devil has two hosts, or he has two contracts: one with Aki and mm. one with another person. And they never mention who it is. Oh, really? Yeah, they, they never. I, I never caught that. Yeah, they never met. It's two people. They never mention who it is. So I'm hmm. very curious about that. So that could make sense because um, the future devil allows Aki to see like I don't know how much into the future. It's like a few seconds or something like that, right? So like he's always that's why he's like didn't he's never caught off guard. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't even talk about the big death. One of some of the big deaths. Himeno to me. Yeah, Himeno is just pretty shocking. Himeno was like a because, I mean, and now I guess we can talk about it. That the scenes predating that, like, or they're at the bar. Yeah. And uh, they have drinks. And uh, Mik- 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 Makima. Makima is like, you. I'll tell you if you can out drink me. Mm-hmm. And they're just drinking like sailors. But Jimeno has been drinking a lot. And that's whenever her and Denji have a really nice kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know who are y'all watching from, but I've seen it on Hulu. And I think, no, well, no, just on Hulu. She throw up. <laughs> she vomits in his mouth. And you know what makes it so much funny is you can hear Power laughing so obnoxiously. <laughs> and I was like, this is the best thing ever. They blurred it out. Yeah, it's funny because uh, <laughs> you can't show vomit in Japan, so it's censored. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I, I thought that, it was just like a joke. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it. So he just, but that he's describing it. He's all, he's like, her tongue's in my mouth. Oh, it's so warm. It's like melting in me. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> this is vomit. And then to top it off, she takes him back to her place where they get a little more cuddly. And I won't, I won't ruin that scene for you guys. Go and check it out. But like, um, they do that scene and then like she's just drinking and she carries him back to the um, to her apartment. And then that's when they become friends. Yeah. And the, then... Like yeah. the way, yeah. Him, Jimeno's death was pretty shocking because they built her up as like, such a buddy, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Like she was, she was about to be there, part of the cast, was part of the cast, like in, interlinked between um, uh, who's the, who they call top knot? Oh, um, I, I got him on the wall right oh, there. Oh, Aki. Aki, there we yeah, go. Aki, Hiyamato, he, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. They, and they like there was like a, that was the, the the romance. Yeah. Like she really liked Aki, and prior to that, she was trying, she wanted to go. 
private with Aki. Mm -hmm. And he didn't want to. Like, he didn't. I don't even know if she ever expressed that to him, but she did not want to go private. He didn't want to go private. He wanted to kill the gun devil. That's all I cared about. And Aki, like, it showed their friendship, but also their relationship. Like, she was the one that introduced him to a cigarette. She was the one that, uh, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. she lost. The way they introduced each other is um, uh, she. Uh, she's at her partner's funeral. Yeah, and then Kishbe shows up and exactly. says, "This is your new partner." Yeah, yeah, and it was like kind of like she's already survived so many partners, and Aki is like kind of there too, where he's like, "I don't, I don't care about anything. I just want to kill the gun devil. That's mm-hmm. all he cares about." But the scene, I and I, I, I can't and again. We watched a while back. The scene. <laughs> so her partner's like relative runs into her in the street. And slaps oh, yeah, her right yeah, in the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Aki goes up and like pursues her and puts gum in her hair. Yeah, that's, that was a good scene. Yeah, yeah, just puts like and it was like so like childish, but mm-hmm. it was funny because Aki is so serious. Mm-hmm. For him to do something super childish like that mm-hmm. was really good. Mm-hmm. And it really showed their relationship and how much she really liked um Aki and how how they built like their friendship and how they smoked cigarettes together. Mm-hmm. And it was like how they bonded. And it really like it was really sad when she died because like we get to see that. And it also it introduces something really weird about uh, uh, Denji. Denji was uh, confused about whether he should be upset about it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, Aki's in the hospital. They're eating their eating his apples. Mm-hmm. They're not giving him any. Just eating the apples, <laughs> reading manga, and they're Aki's super upset. They, he lost to Mina. And then here comes uh, the scene where it's like looking at a vending machine. And they're walking down the hallway, and he's like. I don't know. Should I be sad? Would I be sad if Aki died? Would I be? I would. I wouldn't be sad if Power died, if Makina died. I Mak- Makima. I keep saying it wrong. Makima. Makima. If Makima dies, would I be sad? And he doesn't know. He really doesn't know whether he would be sad or not. And it's really interesting because that would be kind of a weird thing for other characters, like in other anime. Mm-hmm. Like they know they'd be sad if somebody died. Yeah, he, he's got a lack of em- empathy. Exactly, and it's because he probably doesn't know better. He doesn't understand it yet because the only person he really lost is his father and he had nobody else. Uh, oh, and uh, Pochito? Pochita. Pochita. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pochita. I just offended the other half. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that whole uh, episode was really revealing on a lot of things. Um, but that was a really good episode. Uh, just to, just to like, it was kind of like the, the, like the, like the middle of the, of the, it was like episode like nine. So it really sparked what's to come. Mm-hmm. And then we introduced one of like the rival, Katana, Katana Man, which is like a funny rival because it's the same thing as Chainsaw Man. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, so it was like very, it was like super derivative of Chainsaw Man. I also, I also like how they introduced him because they they shoot him in a bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that's his. Uh, I think his grandfather is the one that like mm-hmm. is like it ties back into that. Yeah, yeah. It, it came back to that, which was really good. All right, so now that we got through a lot of the episode, let's get to this finale part. You can drink your beer. So you think uh, there's, there's not a whole lot. Left, so. <laughs> you're, you're savoring it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Start, it's starting to hit, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's hitting. <laughs> but um, so we get to this final act, and this is where we get to introduce some of the cool ass fucking devils out there. The fiends, I think they're fiends, right? Uh, I want to say they're fiends. Uh, yeah. We have a beam, uh, the shark or the shark devil. Beam, one. the shark devil. Yeah. And then we have angel. Angel. And then we have um, spider. I don't know, I can't remember what his name is. He wears like a gas mask or something on him. There's there's so there's so freak the shark one is like the coolest. Yeah. Able to beam, swim through walls. Beam beam school, yeah. Yeah, that was like super cool. And I was like, this is badass. But we get to introduce some of these new devils and and, and you know what upsets me? And this is where I start this is why it didn't hit um a, a five for me or four point five. Because they introduce all these cool devils and they're out there like kicking ass and we never get none of that. We get a small, like, minute or two of them kicking ass, and then we go right into, like, the, the main cast that we have. Yeah. And it shows, like, Chainsaw Man taking the elevator with power, going to the floors, they run into the katana. Well, they run into zombies, and power goes, I can kill all these. Watch, get my back. Mm-hmm. She runs in there, then she goes back in the elevator, goes back up. Yeah, and then he's then he runs into the katana man, tries to make a deal with, <gasps> a deal with him, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. And that's where we uh, get, like, the final fight. The final fight, yeah. Which was a good fight. Honestly, it was, it's actually pretty dope from, from the perspective of, um, like, I don't want to call them ass fools, right? But, like, I, I love it from the perspective of, like, like, how he wins the fight. Like, he's overpowered, Denji's oh. overpowered the entire time, right? And then he figures out a way to, to beat him. 
And he does it by turning his leg into a chainsaw. Like, I, I love that. I thought it was really cool. That, that was such a... Because uh, I've been thinking about that the whole time. And when he does it... So one of the, the part where the re- reason it's cool... And you're right. Fucking awesome. The scene is like... He starts laughing and he goes, You went for my arms or you went for my head. Mm-hmm. But you didn't think about my legs. And yeah. then Katana gets split. Yeah. Yo, that scene was so epic. Yeah. And, and then we have the other side of it. Aki's side. Aki, who's on revenge, he's hungry. Yeah, yeah, because of Himeno. Yeah, yeah. He runs into um, the snake devil, uh, the girl. I don't know her name. Yeah, I can't think of her name. Yeah. Of what's she on the list? Is it, isn't it? Uh, let's see. He runs into her, and um, it, she he runs into her, and she like initiates her devil, and her devil is uh, man, I can't think of her. It's, it's like a snake. No, no, she has another devil. Um, Are you talking about the uh, like the ghost devil? Yeah, yeah, the ghost devil. Yeah, and the and Himeno told him that if you don't fear the devils, you're you're allowed to. They, they can't see you; they're blind. Mm-hmm. And then he walks up on top of her, and he 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 gets a memory of his first cigarette, and the cigarette was uh, no regrets, right? It was revenge, I thought. Oh, was it? Yeah, revenge? it was revenge. Or I don't something. Know I it's no been, revenge again, or... it's been a while since we see this, uh, but like the whole scene is set up to where like. He has this memory of Jimeno, and she goes, she goes, just take my cig, take the cigarette. And he was like, I can't, it's illegal because I'm underage. And then she goes, well, I'll just hold on to it till you're of age. And then he opens a hand, and there's a cigarette with some words on it. Revenge, or, mm-hmm. you know, repent, whatever it is. I think it's revenge. But so Revenge sounds like it's probably. Yeah, revenge. and uh, he goes up, and, you know, the, the demon turns to flowers, and then they go, and they finally capture the girl, and I, um, Gobeni captures her. And uh, she does something interesting. So they they don't get any answers from her. And this is where it gets really, where I'm like, Makama, Makana is like, there's something with her. Um, they're taking her to custody. And as the last thing, the snake devil bites her head off while they're taking her in custody. Mm-hmm. And it's the last scene of the whole a- anime. The la- very last scene, she's explaining to the politicians or whoever they're running it. And she says, like, do you have anyone in custody? She goes, we had one, but she did an act of suicide where the uh, the snake devil just came from the wall and bit off her head. Hmm. And that, like, makes me think, does, like, Machina do something involved with that? So that's what, that was, like, where I was like, I have so much questions. Yeah. All right, now we get to the very final, like, fight at the inning. Aki and Chancel Man both have Katan Man tied up. <laughs> and the final fight. Yeah. Fi- this is this should be the final fight. <laughs> and they're making a competition who can make him scream louder by kicking him in the balls. Which is funny because that's how Aki and uh Denji first yeah. had their first interaction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like literally they're kicking each other. He Aki's like, I don't want you to be here. Get out of here, you scum. I'll tell Makama that you left. And then yeah. he starts kicking him in the nuts. Denji starts beating the shit out of his yeah, balls. Yeah. It's so funny. Wait, good intro- introduction of them. Mm-hmm. But that's how it ends, and I, I do think that's why I didn't like it. I didn't have too many cliffhangers. I wanted more. All right. So let's get into, like, our final thoughts. What are your final thoughts on the anime now that we're, you know, what, what do you expect? What What did you think overall of the anime? Like, like It was a really solid anime, and I enjoyed every episode. There was not one boring episode that I can think of. And some episodes have, like, not fillers, but have episodes that are just kind of, like, boring where they're introducing mm-hmm. like you know mm-hmm. a series or season or, you know whatever they're doing but this is one of the few ones where i watch every episode i thought every single episode was really good and very entertaining i can't think of one that was boring the one that might be boring is probably uh episode three i think maybe where it's like deeper uh, i i can't think of any one that was boring mm-hmm. they were all interesting yeah so this was a great pick for our first episode i'm glad we picked it because this 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 anime, yeah. I have so much. I have it's so hyped. I have so much for the future. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot, definitely a lot to talk to talk about with this anime. Um, my final thoughts are, again, having read the manga, um, the first season was basically like a like a prelude, like yeah, yeah. That's what it, you told me. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like a prelude, like it's a setup to the actual story. Yeah. Like like everything's about everything that's fucking crazy is a about to happen yeah. and you know everything has been has been crazy but it's about to get like balls off the walls if they can pull it off oh, so man. i'm so so you know what's sad though is mappa hasn't released any information yeah they haven't yeah so everyone's not thinking yet. they might not get a season two but it was such a good a fan favorite i think it is gonna get a season two 
It was so good. But this is what I told you before. Um, so if you go to my anime list, which I'm looking at right now, um, the character called Reese has a voice actor. And right. Reese has not been introduced in season one. Well, there you go, guys. We might so, have a season two. It looks like it. Yeah. With, with that being said, I'm glad we did this episode. We got more to come, guys. Stick around. We have the best. We're picking the best. We're going to go watch all of them. And this was just the first episode. This is just a small amount of what we're going to put definitely, out. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, make sure to check back every time. Uh, what do you think? Monday, Thursday? We're Monday, dropping. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to check. And uh, yeah, Chainsaw Man, check it out. You guys are going to love it. I loved it. I know you loved it. Check it out, guys. Catch us next week. All right. Bye. Laters. All right. I got to go pee. I'm going to leave that in the edit. So I'm going to leave that in the edit. <laughs> I got to go pee.